Hey guys, Killboy here um, at everybody's favorite place to hang out. This is the uh, overlook at the Dragon Deals Gap. Uh, we're on the Tennessee side near the North Carolina border. Um, I've had a few people asking questions about the uh, setup I've been using to shoot my videos and stuff and, and a lot of people looking to get into it. So I thought I'd put together a little informational video about some of the features that these things have now. And um, for people who are kind of interested in it, maybe having me up on top of all the things that uh, the latest greatest machines can do so basically this is the blade brand 350 qx is the model there are several great models to pick from this is not uh, an endorsement for this one by any means the dji makes a really popular one called the phantom that'll do probably everything this one will do and then some um the kit is like 420 dollars with the controller and the batteries and the charger it doesn't come with this controller. It comes with one just a step below this one. I had this controller from a previous um, helicopter and you can get the kit a little bit cheaper without the controller. It's about $50 cheaper. So I programmed it to work with this one. Um, but it's very similar to the one that comes in the box with it. Just one less channel in the box. Um, this, they come with so many sensors on them now. It's, it's, it's amazing uh, for the price especially. It basically has four kinds of sensors. It has an altimeter. So it knows how high it is uh you know when you launch off the ground it is sets it sets it at zero uh, zeros it out there and then you know one foot two foot it knows how high it is off the ground with the altimeter it's got a compass so it knows which direction it's pointing it has a uh, gyro in it so it knows how far leaned over it is and you know it sets it at zero when you launch so it assumes that's flat and it has a gps uh sensor in it so that it knows where it's at in relation to the earth you know it's like it knows its lateral longitude coordinates so with those four sensors it's able to do some pretty interesting things we'll go through the different modes that it has real quick um, i hate videos that drag on just as much as anybody so i'll make it as quick as i can talking so fast here uh it has three modes of flight i forget what they're called in the book but basically it's easy intermediate and expert so we'll start with the simplest to explain expert is pretty much wide open um it'll It'll roll all the way upside down. You can do barrel rolls and all that stuff with it. Um, real handful to fly in expert mode. Uh, but the only sensor that really comes into play is the compass. It holds its heading. But everything else, it's, it's up to you to center it, um, hold its altitude, you know, level it off, all that. It's, on, it's in your hands. Um, so you can get real creative with it and flip it all around. Uh, intermediate mode, uh, the one in the middle, it's the one I use the most. Um, it has it it brings in the yaw uh, the gyro sensor so it's self-leveling when i let off the sticks it, it'll if it's leaned over it'll, it'll level out um, and it also won't roll over only so far it won't let itself roll all the way over even if you push all the way sideways so kind of keeps you out of trouble but you're still responsible for maintaining the altitude and maintaining the position gps wise it, it doesn't self uh do any of those things you have to do that your own um and finally easy mode or i think they call it safe or safe mode um this is the one that if you're looking to get into it now is a good time to get into these things it's really impressive it uses all those sensors and um basically it assumes it tells you in the manual when you when you launch this thing you need to put it on the ground facing away from you just like this and you need to step back 15 feet <clears throat> and so it assumes that when you launch you are uh, roughly 15 feet behind the, the aircraft and you're facing the same direction that, it, that the aircraft is facing and it draws this um, imaginary circle or dome over you if you will and it will not fly within that 15 foot radius so that's kind of cool you can give the controls to somebody that's maybe kind of novice and they they can't hit themselves as long as you're within this circle it won't fly into this circle because it knows the, the position that it takes off from so it assumes this uh, safe area um the other thing with the safe mode is kind of cool you can push this is the throttle for for altitude on the left side and normally if you push that all the way up it'll just keep going um until it can't fly any higher but in safe mode it's got a ceiling of i don't know 60 feet or something so all the way at the top it goes up and hits that top if you put it in the middle it comes down and stops in the middle so it's kind of cool it, it's like a, a linear scale on how high you want it to be based on where you have this controller um this normally moves the aircraft pitches it forward back left and right 
and that's normally that's in relation to the way the aircraft is facing so that's one of the trickier parts of flying these things normally is you have to keep up with which direction that it's facing because up is forward to the aircraft not to you so if the aircraft is facing left and you push up it's going to go the left if you if it's facing right and you push up it's going to go the right and you kind of have to keep track of that and it's kind of tricky with these with these quadcopters now because they are their profiles are are very similar from the back from the side and from the front it's not like a traditional helicopter where you can tell which way it's pointing at a distance by the profile so back to easy mode this is what i'm getting at in easy mode it assumes that you're facing the way it's facing when it took off and when you push up on the stick it is going to move in that direction it doesn't matter which way it's facing it moves that way it auto compensates for you so because it, it keeps track of where it's pointing with the compass so really cool um, if you're learning to get into it if you push left it's going to go the left no matter which way it's facing um, so and then of course right and back brings it back to you so really cool and then you can't hit yourself and the final big feature that it has really neat um is the return to home feature for for those of you who may not be familiar with it basically uh, there's a switch on the controller you flip the switch and it knows where it took off from it will go back to that spot and land itself you can let go of the control so i'll give you a demonstration in a minute but that's pretty cool and that works in i think every mode so if you get into a little uh situation where things start to get hairy just reach over and flip that switch and it'll level out it'll come hover over to the spot where it took off from and it'll come down and land in that spot so I'll show you a little demonstration right quick. This is in easy mode. You can tell by the light on the back of the, uh, of the aircraft. It's green right now. I'm not sure if that shows up. You just flip a switch and now it's in intermediate blue and flip another switch and it's in advanced red. So I'm gonna stay by it while this car goes by so it doesn't get run over. <clears throat> I got to put on a show. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration. Basically, to get it started, you just move the stick back and forth on the left side, and the prop starts spinning. Howdy. Don't mind me. I'm just talking to people. Oh, no. Go ahead. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, lift off. You just push up on the left stick. And it goes up to about half its window there. And even with wind blowing, it's kind of windy out here. It knows... It's GPS coordinates and it'll hold that position, that altitude, and that heading uh, and auto compensate for wind. If the wind starts to push it, it'll kind of tilt and push against it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna push the right joystick forward, it moves away. And even if I spin it around and push it forward, it still moves away. If I pull it down, it comes back towards me. So really nice feature for new people. You can aim it pretty much wherever you want to. Nice for filming, you know, you can kind of think about where you want to position the camera instead of having to worry about flying the helicopter all the time. And uh, I'll move it over here so I can do a return to home and show you guys. So here we go, I'm going uh, to move it back this way a little bit. And I'm going to flip the switch and take my hands off the controller now. So it goes up to about, I don't know, 30, 40 feet. Centers over the spot where it took off. And there you have it. Push the throttle kill button. And it's ready to go for the next flight. What do you think? Pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> now, nah, no signal up here. So there you go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and um, I'll answer them as well as I can. Subscribe if you'd like to keep up with our updates. Talk to you next time.